I'm Samantha Payne, and I'm a member of OPSU Local 345, which is clerical staff support up at the hospital, and I'm a switchboard operator. Late last summer, OPSU put out an open call to all of their members in all seven regions of OPSU to be a, apply and be a part of the OPSU Solidarity Tour. On December 20th, I got a call from Brenda Wall at head office in OPSU, and she informed me that I had been selected as the Region 3 a representative on the Africa tour. So right away I started sending out emails and talking to people to try and get the word out because it was something that I was extremely excited about right off the bat. We didn't have a whole lot of information about where we'd be going and what we would be doing other than we would be working with some foundations like the Stephen Lewis Foundation and I just knew that it was something that I wanted to be a part of. We're going to start our journey on September 4th at 6 a.m. in the morning. Our flight is going to leave from Toronto. And from there, we're going to have to go to Washington and connect with the co connecting flight that's going to take us to South Africa, to Johannesburg, where we're then going to have to get on another connecting interior flight that will take us to Malawi, to Lilongwe. And in Lilongwe, we'll be in the care of the Makubo development folks in a village called Makubo. We'll be there for about eight days and get to take part in things like well drilling and solar panel installations. From there we're going to move on to South Africa and we'll visit Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban and travel around with the Stephen Lewis Foundation folks and take part in some of their music therapy and in some of the orphanages where children are living with HIV AIDS. I've received a lot of support, especially from my family members, when I was first expressing to my family first that I wanted to apply for this tour. Um, I did get a little bit of pushing because it was such a long tour, three weeks is a long time to be away from two children. I have a five-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. So leaving my husband alone for three weeks is quite a long time, but I also had them saying it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I had to be a part of that. That was really the push that I needed to apply for the tour. And since then, talking to doctors, co-workers, members of the community, business owners, I've received a lot of support and people are on board and people can see the good in the projects like this and things that OPSU are doing in solidarity humanitarian projects. Each tour participant is responsible for raising $5,000 for the cost of their tour and that is covering our flights, that's covering our food, that's covering our travel in and around South Africa and Malawi. Um, OPSU I believe uh, is covering 15 days of a meal allowance but other than that uh, we, we are responsible, each tour participant, for raising the funds and we have been encouraged to raise as much as possible because any extras we will get to take into the villages and instead of taking up that money and shipping things, we've decided the best would be to take that, the funds into the villages and communities and buy things that are needed in the communities for the people living there. I started my fundraising right away. Um, I called on the help of the Peterborough and District Labour Council and through them I received lots of help through the United Way. I received help through the locals with OPSU. People started adding me to their minutes agendas and I was able to go and talk to various groups, the Durham Region Labour Council, the Aurelia and Beria, Berry District, Aurelia and Berry District Labour Councils. And through them, I've received tons of support. I've had a lot of people ask me what I want to go and teach people. And for me, that's not what the tour is about. For me, the tour is about what I'm going to learn and what I'm going to bring back and what I'm going to learn from the people there. I don't think I need to go and tell anybody to do anything differently. I think the learning experiences that I bring back and I share with coworkers and people in the community and especially my family is going to be very important to help people understand the global issues that we face. I've teamed up with Riley's in the downtown Peterborough and with their help I'll be hosting an event on Thursday July 26 between 2 and 5 p.m. We'll be having door raffle prizes as well as a portion of bar sales that will be donated to the tour efforts. Please come down and join me as I make my final push towards Africa.
Mama Maria, 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 M